We're here today on the northern border of Israel in a location called Tel Dan, one of the primary source springs of the Jordan River and a place of great historical significance. We're going to meet today our friend Ruvain Halevi, our tour guide in the north. Come, let's go meet Ruvain and, and hear about this wonderful place. Ruvain! Shalom. Oh, shalom. Show us Tel Dan. Come on, let's All go, right. brother. Shalom, this is the Dan River. It's the major source of the Jordan. It's incredible. This is what we drink from. This is our blessing. This is one of the three sources. And this river starts from a trickle, no more than 200 yards up. And all these trickles and all these streams feed this incredible river. You know, the Bible says many, many times the boundaries of Israel are from Dan to Beersheba. This is one of those hundreds of trickles, hundreds of little springs from the Hermon that make the Dan River. And it starts from just a little trickle like this. The land of Israel has to be the most beautiful place in the world. Those waters of the Don are beautiful. I wish we could capture the smell on film. You said there were archaeological sites that were of extreme importance here. How did we Follow get to me, them? Brother. Ah. This was the border of Israel for 2,800 years. This was a great commercial city on the trade route between Babylon and Egypt. And this is the northernmost part of Israel. Even in 1948, there are the trenches where this kibbutz fought against the Syrians. And there is the border road. And that's Lebanon today. Let's go on to the archaeology. This is one of the great archaeological gems of Israel. This gate is the oldest mud gate in the world. It's the gate of the great commercial city of Lachish. It predates the patriarch, our father, Avraham. Let's go on to the gates of the city of the time of Don, 2,800 years ago. This is the gate of the great city of Don. These are the original stones of the gate. So this is it. These gates are massive. They're part of a double gate system. The reason for protection, for security of a great commercial city Soldiers and customs officials were in these rooms of this gate. These gates were very typical of the Middle East. You have Solomon building the same types of gates at Hatsur and Megiddo. This is the market, the seat of the governor, and the whole city of Don. And the view, you could see armies or caravans coming in any direction. The Hula Swamp, for thousands of years existed. So caravans had to come around, to either be going to Babylon or from Babylon to Egypt. And this city was built on a strategic hill overlooking the caravan route. The reason that you have to come in and make a turn and another turn again is security. So armies can't just rush it with horses and chariots and the tremendous curve on the road up into the tell again slows anybody coming down there's another gate system up there for protection <laughs> 